guys, so for today's video, I wanted to bring you some of my winter beauty secrets. I wanted to share you um, basically the products that I've been using for winter and some tips and tricks to keeping your skin, your hair, and your body looking and feeling amazing. Um, when it comes to winter, it definitely can be dry, it can be damaging, um, especially if it's like dry winter sun or if you're exposed to the elements like super cold um, snow or things like that. So I just wanted to bring you a couple of tips, what I do, a couple of products that I've currently been using, um, and things like that, because it honestly has been helping me. Um, and one of the biggest problems that I have personally in winter is dry elbows, and I really never have dry skin except for in the winter. And I usually wax, I've been shaving recently, but anywhere that I shave on my legs, my skin is like scaly and dry and ashy, you know what I mean? And it's also right here on these elbows, which is super, super frustrating to me because I don't have that other times of the year and I feel like everyone can notice it and it's itchy and it's uncomfortable as well. One of my absolute favorite products to use um, is actually something that I was introduced to this year. This is from Olay. It's called the Do Over, uh, but it's D-E-W instead of Do Over and it's a radiant moisturizer that actually looks and feels amazing on your skin. This is a product intended for facial use, but I honestly use it on my legs and on my elbows elbows because I feel like it is so moisturizing. Um, usually what I do is that I'll get into the shower and then once I get out I'll put this on. And being in the shower, another tip for winter beauty is don't turn your heat too high. Um, when people are in the shower, really, really hot heat, it can dehydrate the skin and make you even more prone to dryness and to irritation and things like that. So make sure it's warm enough that you're not cold, like it's warm, but don't put it as hot as you can handle it. Um, and after I get out of the shower, if my skin is already kind of moisturized from the water, I definitely put this on. I feel like my skin absorbs it better. And whatever you're using kind of on your body, be sure to use something. Be sure to put it on when you get out if you do want your skin to really absorb it. Um, you can also do that when you get out of the bath, but this is what I've been using. It's a couple dollars at the drugstore. Um, I really am loving it. I'll have to kind of wait a little bit longer and see how it feels on my skin. Um, but the next problem that I have is dry hands and I have tried that on my hands and it just doesn't work the same now for me I don't really get like problems all over I just get right here in the very center of my palm and I get like nails that are total hang nails and it hurts so bad and I don't understand like why do I get dry just here and it's like it comes off in little flakes and it's just it's irritating you know what I mean and hang nails are usually caused by skin out usually caused by skin that it's growing wrong and then if it's not moisturized enough it can get dry and kind of um and kind of split off and cause pain. Um, we have a Talking Tuesday on ingrown nails, but it's honestly a huge problem for me for winter. And the biggest thing you can do is moisturize those cuticles. And what I've been doing that really does help me is the Yes to Carrots Hand Cream. This one says yes to allotin for relieving dryness to soften skin and yes to soy to help retain moisture. Now normally I'm not a fan of soy with eating it just because of the estrogen content and just because I was a vegetarian for so many years and eating so much tofu and soy did kind of mess me up. But honestly when it comes to this I haven't noticed problems and I've been pretty happy with it. It is a 99% natural product and it is actually moisturizing without making me super greasy. The biggest reason I don't use stuff on my hands is because I touch my handbag or I touch my car wheel and I feel like it's it's just greasy, you know what I mean? With like door handles, it's just, for me, that grosses me out. This actually absorbs into my skin as opposed to other things and it does help both my palms and my um, nails. And if you're like me, if you have really, really bad um, hangnails, you can also soak your nails in water and put cuticle oil on them uh, because during the winter hangnails can definitely be a problem. The next big problem I have is with my hair. For some reason when it comes to winter, um, my hair does two things. One, it gets super dry and you can kind of see like it's super like... I don't know, it just feels more dead than it does in the summer. And then the second thing is that it also ends up being like really frizzy. When it's winter, there's sometimes a little bit of moisture in the air, like you can see your breath in the fog. And um, it's honestly actually been a very warm winter, but it's like my hair, for some reason, like it, like that natural moisture in it, like frizzes it out to death, which isn't humidity. So I don't know what it is, but the winter does that to me and it's terrible. Um, also, I notice when I use my regular shampoo and conditioner, it doesn't seem to condition as much. They don't help me as much, and I've noticed that I really have to do deep conditioning treatments. Now, if you have curly hair that's long and prone to damage, I would also recommend just doing this naturally. Um, but if you have tough winter hair, there are three products that I'm personally using that I love, along with something I do for myself. 
Um, before we talk about these three products, something I do for myself is apply beer to my hair. Um, I'm really not a fan of alcohol. I don't drink personally, but I'm finally 21, so I can actually buy beer. And what I do is I just soak my hair in it. And we've done videos on this before, but for some reason it coats my hair. It makes it super shiny, and it does smell like while it's in it, but you wash it out and it doesn't stink anymore. And honestly, it helps the conditioner lock onto my hair better, and it really stops my hair from feeling damaged and dry throughout the winter. So three products that I absolutely cannot live without with is number one, Fairtrade Honey, um, Fairtrade Honey from Lush. This is probably one of my favorite shampoos. I've gone through this multiple times. Um, it's great because it gets my scalp clean without irritating my scalp because my scalp can get dry during the winter too. Um, but it makes my hair super shiny, which it doesn't have a lot during the winter. And the next thing is that sometimes I even skip conditioner and just do retread. This is a hair mask again from Lush. This is a hair conditioner. It is the richest super smoothing conditioning cream filled with fresh natural ingredients to feed your hair the nutrition it needs. And this honestly does just that. You could use it like a regular conditioner. I actually kind of soak my hair every single time I use the shower. And when I use it after this and then the beer and then just put this in, for some reason it grabs onto my hair really, really well. Um, and it keeps it shiny. It keeps it smooth and doesn't do a lot of this. Um, you know, to everything. And it also keeps my ends really smooth, which for me is a huge problem in the winter. Um, and again, this doesn't really irritate my scalp. Um, let's see, it does have soy milk, it has, it has olive oil, it has organic yogurt, avocado oil, um, jojoba oil, violet leaf, orange flower, neroli oil, cactus, all sorts of good stuff, but I love it. <clears throat> And the very thing, I, the very last thing I use is argan oil. This is Organics by Numi. Um, Numi, I know them for doing like hair straighteners and hair curlers and things like that. I didn't really know that they had hair care. Recently, I was introduced to this, and I've been loving it for a month or two now. Um, and argan oil, I've kind of always used, but I finally found a brand that really does work for me. And definitely on days like today, um, sometimes you just need to kind of smooth a little bit over. And I don't use a lot because it can get heavy on your hair, but I usually just work it in. I kind of paste it over and just kind of run it through. And it gives my hair that extra boost of shine and moisture and kind of almost acts as like a hairspray because it locks the hairs down from being frizzy. Um, naturally, I have a lot of this sticking up. I can even do it right now. Um, but I usually just smooth it over and then that way these little frizzies at the top don't start sticking out all the time and any split ends that I have look completely mended and smooth um, which I love because during the winter my hair just kind of freaks out next tell me if anyone else has this problem but I, I don't really get cracked lips but I get like cracking around the sides like there have been a couple times where I get splits like right down the middle and it hurts so bad and that really happens from sleeping with my mouth open so a winter beauty tip is stay hydrated and sleep with your mouth closed um, because when I sleep with it open if I don't stay hydrated like I get splits but that's normally not an issue for me but all around my lips like where my lip meets my actual skin for some reason it seems to flake and then it seems to scab and honestly I don't know what it is am I eating certain foods that are like sitting on my lips is it a lip product I'm using if anyone has this issue, please tell me. Uh, but something I found out that helps me is exfoliating off those dead little particles and then keeping them moist. Now my favorite lip exfoliator changes. This is one I've been using for holidays. It's Santa's Lip Scrub. I got it from Lush. I just, I love it. Um, you can make your own lip scrub with honey or you can make it with granulated sugar or salt. Um, you can get lip scrubs from anywhere, but I use that to naturally exfoliate my lips gently because, you know, it's delicate. I'm going to try to kind of get off those pieces, and I usually do it again after the shower so that it's all moist. Um, but once I do that, I definitely, definitely would call these lifesavers. Um, these are the Maybelline Baby Lips. I did a review on these ages ago during the summer, and I liked them during the summer, but during the winter, these are pretty amazing. Um, they have color. I mean, Maybelline Baby Lips, who doesn't really know what they are? Um, but I just find that these are superiorly moisturizing just because... <clears throat> just because they do have the shea butter in them. And I find that they do last pretty well. I do kind of have to reapply, but honestly, they keep me from getting those little dry, scabby flakes as long as I keep applying them. Now, if I apply a regular lipstick or something, I will get little problems. So that's why I like these is because I can still get color, but without the flaking. So that is another Winter Beauty secret product. I not English, so I shouldn't talk with an English accent, but I am because it's really late at night and so my brain gets a little bit loopy, so excuse me. Last but not least, and I know that I cannot be alone in this, is my skin. My skin tends to freak out because I am actually very oily, as you can probably see from this video. I am a shiny, oily monster. Don't shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like my forehead. 
right? Um, but the problem is that during the winter, I not only have this, but I have super, super dry patches. And I usually get them right around my nose, around my lips, sometimes a little bit down here, like right kind of next to my chin, and right up here on my forehead. Um, usually here isn't as big of an issue. Usually under my eyes isn't much of an issue. Um, but it's difficult because the more I exfoliate, the drier it gets, even if I apply a moisturizer. So I've kind of, I've kind of finally found a trio that works for me. Um, if anyone has tips to dry winter skin that's oily at the same time, please let me know. What I like to use is the Lush Butch de Noel um, face wash. And this is honestly something that I think is limited edition for holiday. It doesn't say exactly. Um, yeah, it is limited edition. It's a fresh, sanu it's fresh to sum and genuinely exfoliating almonds. Keeps smooth. Keep skin smooth, soft, and radiant. This is very similar to Angels on Bare Skin. Um, but you just work a little bit into your palm. This has cranberries in it and like seaweed. Work it into your palm as a paste and put it on your skin. For me, this helps control oil. <sighs> Smells amazing, gets me in the holiday mood. But it also, because it has those almond grains, it gently but naturally exfoliates those things. And unlike other exfoliators, it doesn't strip my skin, which is awesome. Um, so this is honestly something I use, but then at the same time I just need to moisturize and control my acne. So what I use, this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisturizer, but with clear skin. Um, this is naturally very thick, but I put a little bit in my hand and kind of mix it in with some water. And I find that this is moisturizing for me, um, for the dry parts and the oily parts. I'm kind of looking for something that's perfect for both. Maybe I should apply one in one area and one in another area. I haven't experimented with that. This isn't the best as can be, but right now it's the best of both worlds for me. So, um, it's a salicylic acid acne treatment. It's only a couple dollars at the drugstore and it, it works for me, so that's what I use. Um, but if you have other tips to dry skin and oily skin, then let me know and I will definitely try them out and hopefully try to bring you a video and maybe figure out why it happens and how to deal with it because it is frustrating. Um, and last but not least is the under eye area because I do not get flakes or anything like that under my eyes um, during the winter. I don't really get purple eyes under the winter, but I do get like wrinkles and puffiness. And I think it's a mixture of either not being hydrated enough or the weather outside because I notice that I'm a little bit more puffy in general when it's colder and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because like the air pressure is lower because I have arthritis in my knees, premature rheumatoid arthritis, and I can predict when the rain is coming because my knees will start hurting like a day before. I can predict it, people call me crazy, but I am always right because my knees will start aching. And I think it has something to do with the pressure in the air. Um, but I notice that my eyes just get very puffy and they almost start to wrinkle a little bit, like underneath. Um, and I notice it because my foundation settles into those lines and wrinkles, which is very frustrating. Um, so something I like to use to hydrate them is the Hydroxytone Under Eye Cream. This is called the Under Eye Treatment. Um, honestly, it's kind of like a yellow paste. It doesn't smell bad. You put it underneath your eyes and you let it sit there. I usually do it overnight. Um, so you could do it under makeup. I really don't. I just do it overnight and that way when I apply foundation in the morning, um, it doesn't settle into those wrinkles. So those are my winter beauty tips and secrets. Um, another, again, a basic beauty secret is eat healthy, exercise, continue to exercise during the winter, um, eat right. Um, another big tip is that if you have dry cracked heels, um, put on shea butter or body butter and put some fuzzy socks on. Um, but yeah, those are some of the products that have personally helped me. And of course, if you have any other products or recommendations for my problems and my skin issues, feel free to let me know. But I love you guys. I hope that this video helped you if you have any of the same problems that I do. Um, but yeah, I love you guys and I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye.